everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can make your own hamster bin cage. What is a hamster bin cage? Well, it's just as the name implies. It's a cage for your hamster that's made out of one of those big plastic storage bins. You know the ones with the lids? Those make excellent cages. Now, why would they make good cages? Why do I wanna make my own cage for my hamster when I could just go to the store and buy one that's already made for me? Did you know that the ones that are in the store, in fact, most of the ones that are commercially available in North America actually are not large enough for a hamster to live a healthy and happy life? Did you know that the minimum cage requirement in North America is a floor space of at least 360 square inches? Now, I didn't know that. I just recently found that out. So I went ahead and I made a bin cage for a hamster and I'd love to show you how I did it. So without further ado, this is how I made my cage. You're going to need your plastic bin. The bigger, the better. This one that I used is about 660 square inches. I think the dimensions were 30 by 22 inches. And you wanna make sure it's got a lid. Hamsters love to escape, so that lid is necessary. I used a soldering tool. This gets very hot. Uh, some people will heat up a knife and slice through the plastic. Other people will use an electric drill and a saw. It's really up to you. I also used some metal mesh. Uh, you want to make sure the size of the holes in the mesh that you purchase is the right size. You don't want your hamster to be able to escape, but if you plan on hanging your water bottle on the mesh inside of the cage, you want to make sure that these holes are the right size to fit the spout of the water bottle. This particular size is not. You could go up a size bigger, but again, just make sure your hamster isn't going to be escaping. Uh, I also used some 16 gauge galvanized steel wire. Uh, I used some snips, some heavy duty tape, and I have a ruler here that I also used. This is what the finished version looks like, and I'm going to explain to you how I cut out the ventilation hole, how I attached the metal, and how I taped everything. Bear in mind that you wanna make sure that you do have enough ventilation in your tub. For myself and this tub, this is fine, but depending on the tub, depending on where you're gonna be placing the, the tub, you want to make sure you have enough ventilation. That may mean you need to add a panel to the top. It might mean you need to add it some more to the sides. So just be cognizant of that. I chose to use this hot tool outside because it would be melting the plastic and there would be a lot of fumes. I didn't want that in my home, so I did it outside. Some people, and you can do this as well, will mark with a marker the exact lines where they want to cut out the panel. I chose not to do that because I didn't want to mix marker fumes with plastic fumes and be breathing that in, but you can do that. I just eyeballed it and how I did it was once my soldering thingy, whatever this is called, um, once it was hot, I just burned holes in the four corners of where I wanted the panel to be. And then I just eyeballed it across and, and, and melted it out like so. Here's some footage of me doing that. I did was I used my soldering tool to burn holes all the way around the perimeter of the panel that I had just cut out and those holes would be used to fit wire through so that I could actually tie in a way <laughs> tie the mesh to the plastic bin cage so next I needed to cut out the mesh and what I did was I used a ruler to measure, <clears throat> excuse me, the dimensions of the panel that I had just burned out of my bin. And I transposed those dimensions onto the mesh, but I did add an additional one inch all the way around. And the reason for this is I need that extra mesh to be able to attach it to the plastic bin. How did I cut the mesh? That's where these snips came in handy. 
Just be careful because at least with this one, it was quite pokey. So be careful when you're cutting it because you could poke yourself. Next, you're gonna need a piece of wire and this wire is going to be used to attach the mesh to your bin. So I didn't measure the wire I used. I really just kind of eyeballed it. I used about this much and I would just take my snips and cut the piece I needed. I chose to put the mesh on the outside of the bin cage because I didn't want any of the pokey edges to accidentally cut or hurt uh, any hamster feet. And also so that the hamster doesn't hurt himself on the wire that you're using to attach the mesh to the bin. What I did was I put the piece of mesh flush up against the outside of the bin and I inserted my wire. One side of the wire I inserted into one hole and the other side I inserted into the next hole and I brought the ends out to the outside. And once the ends were outside, all I did was I just twisted the wire together tight enough so that as you can see, so you wanna continue attaching the mesh to the bin with your individual different pieces of wire all the way around the parameter of the panel. So once you've done that, you're gonna have a whole bunch of pokey wire ends on the outside of the bin. All I did, which worked for me, is I would just lay or press those edges flush against the outside of the bin, and I proceeded then to put uh, tape over top of it. You can just use one color. You don't have to use multi colors. Just make sure it's heavy duty enough and sticky enough to do the job. The point of putting tape around the outside is just simply um, to help ensure that nobody gets scratched with the wire that's on the outside. Well, that's pretty much it. How to make a hamster bin cage. Two things to keep in mind. Don't forget the lid needs to be secure. So what I'd suggest using is some sort of a clamping device, possibly large paper clips. Clamp all the sides of the lid so that your hamster can't escape. They are great escape artists, do not doubt them. One day they will get out if your lid is not secure. And the second thing to remember, make sure you have enough ventilation panels and or they're large enough so that the hamster can breathe comfortably inside the plastic bin that you choose. I wanna thank the Love of Pets channel for some of the tips and suggestions that she has that I actually incorporated into this video. Be sure to go check out her channel, it's amazing. I'm gonna link it above right here or check it out below in the video notes. If you liked this video, go ahead and click the like button below. And please go ahead and click the bell icon below to be notified every single time I make a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and do come back soon for more videos. It's been a pleasure and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Bye for now.